Welcome back. So I've still been looking for an articulated print that I can scale up for the Prusa XL. I've found this one, the Articulated Dragon, on printables by Astronaut Games. So I pulled it into Slicer. I did have to do a repair on it first. At 100% on this print, it's just a little bit under 8 inches or right around 200 millimeters. I changed my layer setting to 0.32 quality. I was hoping the quality would be just slow, slow enough, but also not super slow at a lower layer height. I decided to keep the infill at the normal 20%, but I wanted to switch to the lightning. I liked how quick but also sturdy that has been on previous prints. So with these settings, I'm looking at a little bit over five hours. I purchased another emollient filament. This one is green and black, and it is a silk or shiny filament as well. I like that it is a dark green with the black. I think it looks pretty good together. When I get it out of the plastic, I notice that it actually looks like there's a couple colors of green in there. It's kind of like a brighter green and then more of a foresty green and then the black as well. And it looks like this is not what I was originally thinking. I thought I was getting a multicolor filament that had all of the colors all roped into every single strand, but it looks like it's actually more of a rainbow. So this first little bit is just a solid green. It's not gonna have the black run through it as well. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay, I've got the new filament loaded. Let's see how this print turns out. I was a little nervous that the antennas are part of the whole print, that you can't print them separately. I was worried that maybe those would come off the bed just because they're kind of small, but I didn't have any issues. So this first size printed really well. Let's see how it looks. This print had plenty of time to cool, so it comes off the bed really easily. And as I move the dragon around just a little bit, you do have to kind of loosen everything, but it's not difficult at all. It doesn't feel like you're breaking anything or that there's any issues with the movement of the different pieces. It's just that each individual joint has to kind of be loosened a little bit. But yeah, I like it overall. Um, the rainbow, sometimes I feel like I don't like how the, it turns out, but I like that the black was on the very ends of it. I think that looks cool. And here I'm trying to see how long this print is. If I put it diagonal on the bed, it's going to hang off just at the seven inch round. So it's a pretty decent size print. The head turned out pretty good. There is some stringing in between the spines, um, but not much. And I don't feel like there's any globs or anything from like the temperature being too hot. I don't mind having to brush off just a little bit of stringing. So I'll probably keep these same settings and plan to just see how large I can make it on the print bed. I do wish that the antennas were a separate file that I could print because I would prefer these to be in the black since I did the rainbow. I don't really like this kind of brighter green or the forest green. It looks a little different in the nose. I would like, or maybe even if it was the same color green, I would like that better. Um, I can't really get these antennas to fit in, so I may need to adjust that a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I, I guess I could glue them in, but it just doesn't seem like they even want to pop in at all. So I'm thinking maybe I just need to make them a little bit shorter or just scale them down just a little bit. But overall, I'm really happy with this print and I'm anxious to see how much larger I can make it. So back in Prusa Slicer, rather than do 200% because I think that that's going to be too large, I'm going to go ahead and just change the Y to be 14 inches and see if that will fit. It does scale up, but it's got kind of a weird thing going on with the Z. It's, it's not completely on the bed where it needs to be. And even when I click Arrange, that doesn't fix it. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it did this because it was fine on the original size. I probably could just move it up, but I go ahead and do the place on face. And that does work, but then now it's not letting me align it. So I'm trying to see exactly what is catching, what's too oversized. And it looks like it's the horns there on the front are hanging off the build plate. So I just kind of adjust it a little bit. And that seems to work. It's turning green. And I go ahead and align it just to make sure it's centered as much as possible. So now I can finally slice it and see how long this print will take. I always have to speed up the video on these larger prints because it does take my computer a little while to go through the code on these larger ones. Okay, so we're right at 16 and a half hours. 
So let's go ahead and see if this will work. So the print starts off great. I did not use a brim. Um, I wanted to see if just scaling it up would work. And it was about 177%. It wasn't quite 200%. I was a little nervous about scaling it up because with Octopus, it did not work when I scaled it up. Um, at least the settings that I had. I wasn't able to make it work. So I really wanted to see how this one would turn out. I also was, again, a little nervous about those antenna, but I don't see any issues with those moving or the fact that this basically has multiple different pieces that all join together. I didn't have any issues with anything moving off the bed, peeling up, warping, anything like that. Here I shifted the angle a little bit so you can see the fact that the infill, the lightning infill, it, it looks great. Um, I mean, it's pretty much empty at this point, but you can see there's still a lot going on inside all of these pieces to get them to join together, which looks really cool. Okay, so the print's wrapped up. Let's see how it turned out. Again, this print had quite a bit of time to cool, so it just pops right off the bed. And on this scale, it's very loose already. Um, it's not like it's gonna pull apart or anything like that, but I really don't feel the need to have to loosen each of the joints. It seems like everything's already easy to move. I noticed a little more detail on the back. There's actually kind of this almost split on the spines. I think just everywhere it looks a lot more detailed because everything's so scaled up and it's easier to see. I remove it from the bed thinking that I can actually stand this thing up and it would still be in frame, but that's not the case. This thing is way too big. I like the noise of it moving around. And these antennas do actually fit in a little bit easier. They're still very snug and I have to get them at the right angle, but I am able to get them to fit in and stay in. I think this design is really cool. On printables, it looked a little bit simple, but printing it in person, I'm seeing there's actually a lot to it. Here's a little bit zoomed out view underside and the back. You can see I do have some stringing. The feet turned out great. Um, but yeah, overall, I do need to probably go through and brush it a little bit or I would need to reprint it. Maybe a little bit cooler is what I'm thinking to get that stringing. And here is both of them together. You can see how much smaller the original scale is when I put them together. They look really cool. I do wish that I had chose the different type of filament. I feel like this is a little bit stripy looking, especially on the larger size, but it still looks really cool. Okay, so let's see how long they are. The smaller size is right at 22 inches or about 560 millimeters. And the larger size comes in just a hair under 40 inches or about 1000 millimeters. So it is a very long print. It turned out really cool. Let me know your thoughts and if you think I should attempt the octopus print again with the lightning infill. Thanks for watching.